been a long time coming. But tonight, because of what we did on this day, in this election, at this defining moment, change has come to America. A dream is realized. Barack Obama makes history as the Illinois senator is elected the nation's first African-American president in a triumph that overcomes racial barriers. Obama, 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 Obama. The Obama victory triggered parties all across the nation, like this one in New Brunswick, where Rutgers students celebrated his unprecedented win. It was Obama's night, and America spoke. Obama grabbed 349 electoral votes and won in all key battleground states to defeat John McCain. Here in New Jersey, Obama took 57 percent of the vote to McCain's 42. Jim Hooker has reaction to Obama's and the party's election victory. A sense of euphoria spilled outside New Jersey's Obama headquarters at a downtown New Brunswick hotel last night. And state Democrats cheered inside the hotel ballroom earlier when they learned the Illinois Democrat was the winner. Many stayed for his victory speech. Americans who sent a message to the world that we have never been just a collection of individuals or a collection of red states and blue states. We are and always will be the United States of America. This is a moment we only can dream about at one point in time, but has come to reality. It is a beautiful feeling. It's a feeling not just for African Americans, but for everyone. Newspapers across the state and the nation reflected in their banner headlines this morning the moment of triumph for the nation's first ever African American elected president. It was a moment such as I don't remember having seen. This was a moment of joy. People were joyous. They were celebrating. The director of the Eagleton Institute of Politics at Rutgers says the moment was and is transformative on a number of levels, perhaps most importantly around the sense of possibility and inclusion that attached to the electorate. I think his win is a part of a general message that groups that traditionally have not been considered appropriate for leadership, have been excluded from leadership, um, have been overlooked, are outside the networks and outside the uh, halls of power, can find a way in. But Mandel says the idealism of the night and days that follow will soon give way to the realism that comes with the responsibilities of the highest office in the land. Everything in public opinion uh, polling tells us that people think the country is going in the wrong direction, and so they want change. They want to feel that someone is going to come in and turn this ship of state in a different direction and do so. And it's a huge challenge because they're going to do so in a stormy sea. Politicians and political operatives aren't wasting any time flexing their muscle in the wake of this historic election. Um, the spread that I am seeing uh, is indicative that uh, we're moving back up to Al Gore levels of uh, plurality. I think that's a positive thing. New Jersey had a tremendous evening uh, delivering our state for Barack Obama, the next president of the United States. A great win for Frank Lautenberg. And we changed the face of the Democratic Party in New Jersey tonight. The Republican State Committee chair says Democrats shouldn't be so self-assured as they head into the 09 gubernatorial and assembly races. If you look at the local results, Jim, uh, Republicans continued to make gains. We picked up more towns than we lost. We elected more people to local office than were defeated. Uh, we, did, we, we held our own as New Jersey Republicans against an incredible headwind. But for many, the sweat and grit that is day-to-day -day politics could wait at least another day. This was a moment in which to bank high hopes on the next president of the United States. Jim Hooker, NJN News.